Wow. Welcome to 2022. (laughs) The last message that I left you guys was a happy new year, Merry Christmas kind of vibe and just what God was showing me for this new year. And I am digging so deep. And all I can think about, like all of the things that are running through my head are what you think about, you bring about, you can do it. You ask, you have not because you ask not, uh, you can, you can do anything you put your mind to all of these, these things, all of these sayings are going through my head and it's like, yes, but what is it that is holding me back in this one area? And I cannot tell you how excited I am. We had freedom Sunday if you don't know about Freedom Sunday or if you don't know about Awaken Church, I just want to share with you in the in the show notes. I'm going to link this message and it was so transformational and you know, if you're on here then you are most likely a believer, a woman of faith and highly ambitious, right? Like that's who this podcast is for. Women that are believing, faith-filled, ambitious women. So But, oh my gosh, I knew I was going to dig deep this season of my life. I knew I was going to dig deeper, but the excitement of what that is looking like for me is literally, um, it's over the top. And my pastor really broke it down to what could potentially be holding people back in certain areas of, you know, experiencing demonic oppression. And so that can be super deep and that can be super like new to some. So I just highly recommend you checking the show notes and checking that out. But let's talk growth. Have you stopped and said, wow, (laughs) I am not reacting to this thing or situation the way I used to. And you're like, girl, you've come a long way. I'm like, Yes, yes, that's me. I I have experienced, you know, this year moments of going, wow, I've really come a long way. Like, I don't think like I used to think. And, you know, you've come so far, but you haven't come this far just to come this far. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so much more for you. And so it is so exciting when you have that moment of realization that you are, in fact, making paradigm shifts. (laughs) Like, that subconscious, you have your your mind and your subconscious mind. So those are like, if you know Bob Proctor, like I, I go into him, I love his teachings, but it's just so interesting how literally your brain creates these pathways and you have the power to change your mind. Literally, it's neuroplasticity in action, right? So you can deliver yourself, break things off and like make new habits, create new patterns in your brain. And so if you know anything about like Bob Proctor, um, and then also Dr. Caroline Leaf. She takes science and um, scripture and she molds them together. And it's just fascinating. But like, how far can you have you come this year? Can you just stop and, and just acknowledge the fact that you have come so far, girl, like you have come so far and you've grown, you've grown. So there's a lot of scripture to back up like the idea of neuroplasticity, like renewing your mind, um, putting on the mind of Christ and all of those things. We had freedoms, like there's been, there was Freedom Sunday and then there was another Sunday prior to Freedom Sunday where uh, my pastor spoke and my pastor spoke about things that like even today in life, like you've come so far, you're so strong in certain areas, but like something will happen and then it'll just flare up uh, like maybe anxiety, stress, doubt, all of these things. And it's like the door had been opened from a trauma. Some kind of trauma has happened and then the door was open and then all of these little demons start to just mess you up and just take you off track. And so he was talking about that. Again, I'm going to reference these messages in the show notes so you can go into detail of what I'm talking about. But he referenced um, James 3, 16 through 18. And it just talks about as my soul prospers, I will prosper. And this is like becoming that girl, like that girl's that routine that, you know, the self-care routine that we hear so much about and being that girl. Um, but as your soul prospers, so doing your devotional, really, you know, thinking about what you're thinking about, taking care of yourself and as, as your soul prospers, you will prosper. And so just really digging into that, like, have you started a routine that 
allows your soul to prosper, that you see result in you prospering, but you fell off track. It's that, it's like that broken record. Like I'm on a roll for two days and then I I go off and then I do it again for a couple days and then I'm off. And it's like, why can't I be consistent in certain areas of life? You know, and that's, that's where like, Something is trying to hold me back from my success in this area. Have you experienced that? It's just so important that we just take time to renew our minds, renew our souls, and just quiet the voices of fear and with the truth. And sometimes I know it's so hard. I was talking to my husband last night and I'm like, I had a revelation of literally understanding how things get in. And I forget how I put it. You need revelation to understand how to step into authority and take captive some thoughts. And if you don't know your authority in this area, you will let it, like you will know what to do. You will know what to say, but you're not believing it enough to really break free. And it's not until you really capture the authority that you have in Jesus and the Holy Spirit to cast out the things that are holding you back those voices in your head this is just such I'm like I feel like I'm kind of all over the place with this podcast but I really am just kind of brainstorming and just talking this out because I'm so blown away with the fact that we have so much power but until we understand that power we don't step into it and it can take us 40 years, right? Like in the desert. And then, you know, finally we have a revelation. So I don't want it to take 40 years and I don't want it to take 36 years. I don't want it to take any more years. I want to step into this and I want to help others step into this. So that's why I'm digging so, so deep. And that's, you know, starting this podcast again, I always talk about this, but this was such a big deal for me because it was something that has been on my heart for so long and those voices, those stupid little things are like, why would you ever think that you're good enough to start a podcast? Why do you think that you could do that? Like, and it's like, actually, because I have something to share and every believer has an assignment and that assignment is to further the kingdom of God. And literally that's taking territory. And so with me stepping into the space of starting my podcast That was me taking territory for myself and going, you will not shut me down anymore in this area and I'm going to start it. And so I did. And that was like over a year and a half, I was being tormented over this, not feeling good enough to start this podcast. And it's finally here. And literally the excitement that I felt, the freedom that I felt with this push, it was overwhelming and I cried and I experienced the freedom in this. But there's always another level of something that there's always another another level of like, okay, now what's next? What's next? And that freedom that I'm like the the territory that I'm working for is now in my heart, in my mind, and I'm taking territory and that's furthering God's kingdom. And so that's kind of what I was talking about with my husband last night. Until you know your authority and you can say, shut up. I'm going to do it and I'm going to succeed and I'm going to excel in this because I know that God has put this dream in my heart and he's with me and he goes before me, he's behind me and he is beside me and his word is like a lamp upon my feet and every step that I take, even if I can only see three feet in front of me, I'm taking one step at a time, okay? I'm taking one step at a time with full faith and It's so hard sometimes to just bust out of that little, like that little box that you're in and it's dark in that little box and you to bust out to, to be in the light, to shine and sparkle. Like he does say, put your lamp on a hill because otherwise we cannot see it. (laughs) Like what is a lamp good for if it's under a table and it's not shining its light? That's us. Like us hiding our lamp under a table is ridiculously not useful. It is so disservicing to the Lord and that's not what he wants, but he's not going to force us to do anything. And he's such a loving, patient 
father and he'll wait for us to let our light shine. He'll wait for us and he'll continue to plant those seeds and continue to show you that vision. And it's only upon your faith and belief and your authority to step in and take that vision and believe in it. Because Albert Einstein obviously was a genius. Albert Einstein had this quote. There's a quote from him and it says, imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. And he says, imagination is everything. It is the preview of life's coming attractions. It's more important than knowledge. So when the Lord says that, he says, write it down, make it plain. And it's the faith of, of seeing what is not yet here, but it's the hope for it. Like I'm totally butchering these things, but I, I hope it makes sense to you. So it's just like having imagination, like you have those dreams that God is planting into your heart and going, this is what I, I see you doing. Like, this is what you can do. Like you're called to teach or you're called to and evangelize whatever the the gift that he has given you is what he's put into you and he's giving you the snapshots in your mind in your heart of going this is what it looks like this is what it looks like and it, it's only when we take the our imagination and see those things believe for them and hope for them and then take one step with the lamp of upon our feet that we can only see so far, but we we can only see as, as far as we need to see. And his grace is good for us for that day, you know? And so we pray for that anointing, like Lord anoint me for this day of what you want me to do and take one step at a time towards that vision that he's showing you. And you learn along the way, you might fall down, but you never fail. Like you always are learning and you're always getting closer to what that thing is. But if we don't believe and take authority in the, what he's given us, we'll never get that vision. And it's like tormenting. It's a torment to have this vision and know that you can do it, but not going toward, not going after it. You know what I'm saying? And so that's how I felt like the year and a half of like this podcast. Like I wanted to do it so badly and I knew I had something to say. I knew I had something to share, but it was this crippling fear of like, what if they reject me? What if I'm not good enough? What if it doesn't make sense? What if I cannot articulate into words what I'm thinking and what if it just like all of those things and it's like just stop it just stop it this is my territory this is my place that God is telling me to go and I'm taking it taking ground in your own life in those things that he's showing you to do and you will further the kingdom in that thing and it is the most exciting thing and so like I took two weeks this new year, I didn't do, you know, I I upload the podcast usually every Wednesday or Thursday, but this last two weeks, I really sat quiet with God and he was like, nope, you don't, don't record, don't record. And he's just been showing me all of these things with growth, with confidence. And so this episode is truly, truly about confidence, your authority and taking ground for the kingdom and rising because 2022 is going to be the best year ever. And it is such a a year for impact, personal impact that you are going to have on yourself. And then when we can do that for ourselves, the impact that is it's going to have on others is going to be so beautiful and so it's just, it's going to be impactful. Okay. It's going to be so impactful. So renewing your soul and prospering as your soul prospers, quieting the fear of voices. I'm just kind of going over my notes, but declaring things that I meditate on. Meditate on the truth. Only think of things that are righteous, noble, good, of good rapport. And something that I'm really working on this year to kind of segue This year, and please let me know if you're with me, screenshot this episode and tag me and be like, yes, girl, me too. Um, But being offended, like, have you found yourself being offended by, by people's, maybe their decisions or their, the things they say? And it's usually offense with the people that are closest to you. 
<laughs> come on somebody. Like it's usually your husband or your kid that you're like, Mm, that just rubbed me the wrong way. So with everything that I've been digging in with this last two weeks, I'm like, there is such a reason why offense comes. And if it's hard for us to live in the spirit, then we know there's something floating around that we need to get out of like any irritation. Like, you know what I'm saying? So let's be unoffended, like make America unoffended and unoffendable (laughs) again I think I saw a shirt like that at my church but let's be unoffended so being offended by people's decisions to not include you if you assume you are to be involved or expect to be involved and then they don't involve you how do you feel about that so let's just talk about that like have you ever been excluded from something Has somebody made a decision where they didn't want to go the route that you probably thought they were going to go? Did it make you feel some type of way? Did it make you feel rejected, offended, sad, mad, and all the feelings in betweens? Like maturity will show up as great fruit when you learn to just love with absolutely no expectations. Just imagine the freedom you'll have. Just imagine how much peace and joy you will be experiencing and that unconditional love that just God talks about is amazing. It's amazing. So how can we, that's a little bit more easier to do with like friends potentially, but with family, like it always comes back to that in your home, the people that are closest to you, are they, are you finding yourself getting irritated or offended easily and why? So ask yourself why, what in, like, is there any insecurities that, that are around that area when they say something and you get offended? Like, is there insecurity? Is there a fear? Is there some type of rejection? So really taking note this year, I know that I am and go, why did I respond like that? Why did I feel that way when he said that? Hmm. I think I'm insecure in that area. I think I need to, you know, work on something there. And maybe it's like the food you eat because you want to lose 20 pounds. And so when they looked at your plate that way, it made you feel some type of way because you know that you want to be losing weight, but you're eating sugar and then that's not really going to help you. <laughs> like, or, or you're eating excessive amounts of bread and we all know that's not going to help us. So is like, is that an awareness that you can stop and say, why is this happening? And how can I, everything starts with me. People are people. We cannot control people. We can only control the way we respond to people. And like I say, respond because you don't want to react. React is something that happens when you don't think you just react. We want to be conscious thinkers. We want to be mature women, right? So we want to respond. (laughs) So why am I, why am I like, why am I reacting? If I'm reacting, why in an offensive way? Because I'm being like offended. You know what I'm saying? So let's go deep into that. Let's look into that. If you have any offense that's popping up, why, why ask yourself why? So your ability to let go of control and expectations, of other people's lives and their decisions, I believe will ref- will reflect the amount of peace and joy or lack of peace and joy you will have. I really believe that. Like we just letting go of control, letting go of expectations. People are people. They're going to live their lives and we cannot, we cannot control that because honestly, all of that is just in a realm that we just don't even want to be messing with anyways. Reference Freedom Sunday message that I link below, but oh my gosh, you just need to be free, 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 free. Luke 10, 19, I just want to give to you as I wrap this up, there is just so much that I'm digging into. And this was just a chat with me kind of thing on like kind of what God has been showing me the last two weeks that I've been away from the podcast, just taking time to dig in. Um, I'm very excited for what's going on, but Luke 10, 19, I have been given all authority over the devil. And I just want to give that to you today because when you hear 
and I, it's, it's an everyday battle. You guys, like it is like every single day, every hour, every minute that we have to remind ourselves. I hear that voice that says, you're not good enough. I hear that voice that says, you're not pretty enough. I hear that voice that says you're overweight. You'll never lose the weight or whatever the voices are. Remind yourself today. Luke 10, 19, it is written, I have been given all authority over the devil. And if it's not good, it's not God. And so I know that voice and I cast you out the voice of comparison. I cast you out the spirit of comparison, the spirit of fear, the spirit of rejection. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Take your authority, take it. And we have to fight every minute. And so that's why I want this podcast to be a community of women that we are together. And you know what? We probably need like a space for us to go to. Let me know if that would be of interest to you, but we need like a private group to where we can like get together and we can be encouraging to each other, you know, because we're, we're going to have moments at separate times. We're all going to have a moment, but just remember your authority. You are beautiful. You are powerful, but it's a choice. It's decision. It's a conscious decision that we have to make to think about what we're thinking about, understanding that there are other voices in our head that we have to cast down and we have authority to do that and luke 10 19 tells us that we have authority over the devil and if it ain't good it ain't god and we got to get it out okay so just know that digging deep into um that confidence just have confidence confidence is going to be my next i want to go into that but this is all overflowing into that so when you know your authority when you can take your territory in your mind and your body back confidence is going to come and so it's just a beautiful beautiful thing so without making this too long it's already we're already so far into this, but I just had to get this thought out. I had to let you know what I've been doing and what has been going through my mind. I'm so very excited for this year. I'm so very excited for the Sparkle podcast and what is to come from this community that we are creating right now. And I thank you so much. So if this has been helpful at all, please screenshot this episode and tag me on Instagram at Porsche.Franklin and let me know what you related with. What was it aligned with you? I hope you're having such a beautiful start to your new year, but I am praying over you only prosperity, joy, and all the fruits of the spirit with a bunch of sparkle all around you. I can't wait till the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this. I will talk to you soon. I love you until then. Keep sparkling.